now we will discuss few more examples of the atmospheric pressure okay which can uh, clear the things and even if the question is asked you know like explain atmospheric pressure or even it that different examples can be given and it can be asked like why does it happens so it becomes easier for you to solve okay so what still we are discussing we are discussing atmospheric pressure isn't it so we are discussing atmospheric pressure now we'll talk about few more examples of the atmospheric pressure now very common experiment you know which you might have done okay so what has to be done children if we take a glass of water okay a glass of water has to be taken now fill this glass of water and cover this with a cardboard or something okay now cover this with the cardboard and what we will do we will do it upside down means how the glass will be now it will be it will be like this okay please listen again now we have taken we are studying atmospheric pressure and i am asking you to take one glass okay fill this glass with water okay now after filling the glass with water cover this with the cardboard now what will you do you will hold it like this so nothing will happen this is a normal phenomenon now you will press this cardboard with your hands okay you will press this cardboard with your hands and then you will do it what upside down like in this position okay now when you do it in this position slightly you will remove your hand from here when you remove your hand from here the water should come down immediately isn't it but what is happening children the water won't come down for few minutes or maybe for few seconds why does it happen is there any magic working over here okay is there any magic working over here you can even fool few people okay the one who doesn't know the concept of this you can go and show your trick that take one glass of water fill it with the uh, water cover it with a cardboard make it upside down and slowly remove your hand and just see see people i have the i have keep i have kept the glass upside down but still the water is not coming out okay but then even you know no, you got to know the you have to know you have to understand the reason why this water is not coming down so children see <coughs> when this glass is there and this water is there okay now it is covered with this cardboard okay it is covered with this cardboard we have covered this with cardboard now when it is covered with cardboard what is acting on this atmospheric pressure that means air which is present around this is acting on this cardboard okay now when we do it upside down now still the atmospheric pressure is working on it and which will keep the cardboard for few seconds like in this position only okay but then what happens slowly the pressure of the water it's now we all know <coughs> now we all know that even the water will exert pressure okay water is water will won't be uh, without pressure even it is going to exert the pressure so when water will exert pressure and when this pressure will increase in comparison to the atmospheric pressure at that time this cardboard will fall down and water will spill on the ground okay again we'll talk about this experiment this experiment shows what again the presence of atmospheric pressure this experiment shows what presence of atmospheric pressure okay even the question can be asked in this way children that when you take a glass of water filled with air filled with not air filled with water and you cover it with cardboard and you then keep it upside down then why the cardboard doesn't uh, falls for few seconds it can also be asked in this way so how we are going to write the answer when we take the glass of water which is filled uh, 
Okay, we fill the glass with water and cover it with the cardboard. The atmospheric pressure will work upon this. And when we do it, when we keep it upside down, this atmospheric pressure will keep the cardboard in its position, okay, and will not allow the water to ooze out or spill out from the glass. But after some time, again, when the pressure due to the pressure of the water, then this uh, will fall down and the water will be spilled out, okay. So, now we will write this answer or we will just explain this experiment. When a glass is filled with water and cover it covered by a cardboard. Okay, what will happen? Atmospheric pressure will work upon that. Atmospheric pressure work upon that. Okay. Now, this is the first point. Now, what we will write in second point? When the glass is kept in upside down position, upside down position and hand is removed the cardboard do not fall due to due to the atmospheric pressure due to atmospheric pressure which is acting which is acting on the cardboard from the lower side, okay, from the lower side, okay, from the lower side. Now, and so, oh, why I am changing the chalk? And so, the water do not spill out. Okay, so what I have written, just read it once, we will read it once. When a glass is filled with water and covered by a cardboard, comma is there. Atmospheric pressure work upon that. Okay, when the glass is kept in upside down position and hand is removed, the cardboard do not fall due to the atmospheric pressure which is acting on the cardboard. Now, from the lower side, acting from where? From the lower side, and what I have written, and so this is so, and so the water do not spill out. Okay. So, what can be the question for this that why water do not spill out even when it is kept upside down which is covered by cardboard for few seconds, okay, for few seconds. It is not almost that you keep the glass ulta or upside down always and the water will not fall. It is not like this, okay, for but few seconds the water will not fall, okay. So, this is again one of the very good experiment to prove that how atmospheric pressure works. To prove, to show that how atmospheric pressure, you know, is uh, there everywhere around us. Okay. Now, 
we will just go to the next one and again why atmospheric pressure why air is acting or why air exerts pressure everywhere because air is present everywhere ok the gas molecules are randomly moving everywhere and so they are present everywhere and so they are exerting pressure on all the four directions ok. Now we will talk about next, next experiment. Now when we talk about next experiment see you all might have played with one gun in your childhood a gun which has got one like when you sh uh, play with this one stick is there and to that stick one sucker is there like this you know. Okay, how it get stuck to the wall of the glass is not it one stick one gun which when you play it has got one stick okay and it has got sucker over here okay now this sucker when when you stick it when you play with this gun the stick goes and it gets stuck anywhere wherever you shoot especially on the glass okay so why this stick do not fall for some time and get stuck wherever you throw especially I am talking about the glass. So children you know when we play when you uh, add this sucker okay on the surface then what happens when you put it the air which is present between the sucker and the surface of the glass it comes out okay. Now see inside this there is no air between this two between the surface and that this one okay if it is sticking here then the between the surface and between this sucker there is no space and now it comes and gets stuck over there but from the outside air is present okay this air is acting and this like due to this even if you uh, you will that means you know you have to pull it uh, with a great force it would not come out automatically until unless when you uh, you know when it becomes like when it gets spoiled ok. Nowadays you might have seen uh, for the windows of the car ok for the glass of the car again some net is coming ok some nets are there which is of black color ok it is totally net and in between this sucker is present which you just have to take and you have to stick it on the glass and it does not comes out it gets stuck over there. Again what is happening children when you take when you when you stick this to the glass ok the air between the glass and this sucker comes out hmm? it comes out that means a sort of not almost total but sort of vacuum is created here ok I am not saying that total vacuum is created but some amount of air comes out from here and so this gets stuck to the fall of the or to the glass window and then you have to pull it is not it ok why does not it fall because here from inner side between the glass and between the surface ok this is suppose a sucker I am stucking it like this. So between this surface and the sucker which is present here the gas the, the air is not there so inside there is nothing but from outside ok but from outside from here the atmospheric pressure is working ok atmospheric pressure is working from outer side that means it will not allow it to come down easily and so it has to be pulled ok. But when we talk about this covering of the car windows the suckers which are used are not of very good qualities and so it uh, gets spoiled very soon and do not work properly ok. So again this can be one of the question that why the sucker do not fall when you uh, press it against a plane surface ok. So how can we write this how can we explain this when a sucker is placed along a plane surface it 
get stuck and do not fall because the air between the sucker and the plane surface okay when a sucker is placed along a plane surface it gets stuck chupak jayega and do not fall because the air between the sucker and the plane surface comes out before it is or before or while it is stuck okay i can write even while while comes out while sucker is sticking okay and what happens but atmospheric pressure okay atmospheric pressure is acting from the outer surface which again keeps the saka at its place okay so we'll just go through it when a sucker is placed along a plane surface it gets stuck and do not fall because the air between the sucker and the plane surface comes out while sucker is sticking okay now atmospheric where it, where it has gone it is here atmospheric pressure is acting from the outer surface while again which which again keeps the sucker at its place that means when we throw the sucker it gets stuck to the surface because the air between the surface and the the sucker between now there is no air or very less air okay that means inside there is no air and from the outer side still the atmospheric pressure is exerting or is present which do not allow the sucker to fall down okay you know children actually one experiment was conducted by one of the scientist okay for writing or explaining that i'll have to clean it but still a short this thing i'll give you otto von was one uh, scientist okay and what he did you know he took a uh, hemispheres you know hemisphere take one ball cut it into two so what will become it will become hemisphere okay so he took two hemispheres which if we join it will it will be a ball so he took two what hemispheres which was having handle also on the outer side i'll draw it and explain it just wait okay so when and you know he uh, also uh, made he uh, invented one pump from which he can create vacuum or he can pull out the air okay so what he did you know he took two hemispheres and he joined it and then again before like joining up from one hole he removed all the air from it okay now what was there a hemisphere was there two hemisphere two hemispheres were there which were joined to each other and there was no air between these two hemispheres okay you know when everybody tried to separate this hemisphere but this hemisphere was 
was like that only nobody succeeded nobody got success in removing or separating this two hemispheres you know after this what he did he kept he attached eight horses okay eight horses from this side and eight horses from the other side and then he tried to pull that but still it was not pulled and it remained as it is why you know children just think meanwhile i'll just clean the board so we were discussing about an experiment okay so now i'll tell you what this scientist did so otto von okay otto von who was he children he was a german scientist okay so he was a german scientist okay german german scientist okay now what he invented he made one vacuum pump okay he made one vacuum pump okay now what he did he made there were two hemispheres okay these were two hemispheres now it was having some hook or handle sort of thing also okay it was joined by i'll just draw it like this it is looking like ears so i'll just join it like this okay now there are two hemispheres okay and just imagine two ba ba or this <laughs> just imagine two balls okay two balls so okay two balls are cut okay these are two hemispheres which makes one circle so it is having one hook over here also okay and it had got one hook here also now what he created this scientist otto von he created one pump which uh, can create vacuum or which can pull the air out pull air out okay can pull the air out now you know what he did he just kept the two hemispheres together okay and he removed he sucked out all the air between this two okay he yahan se it should be vacant actually it should be like this okay now what he did he removed all the air so it should be vacant only he removed all the air which was present inside this now what happened you know this two got stuck so firmly okay this two hemispheres got stuck so firmly children that nobody was able to separate this two just imagine after this what he did was just uh, very surprising okay i will also tell you the you know size of this it was around 51 cm okay 51 cm and this thing he did in 17th century okay he did this thing in 17th century 17th century okay and it was of what 51 cm the size was 51 cm of one hemisphere okay now so he tried to pull this then everybody tried to pull this but this two didn't get separated then what he did was quite surprising he attached eight horses 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 just imagine eight horses the amount of 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 oh my goodness just imagine the power of eight horses from this side and eight horses from this side okay so just imagine children eight horses on one side oh my goodness and eight horses on the other side and then they tried to pull okay but just imagine the surprising thing is still they were not able to separate this two why because the atmospheric pressure is acting on this okay the atmospheric pressure is acting here atmospheric pressure is acting here okay here here everywhere but if air would be there inside then it would have acted like this and it would have balanced 
this atmospheric pressure but now as there is no air so nothing is there which can balance okay nothing is there which can balance this atmospheric pressure and so even after applying 16 horses this was not like it was not separated so this was such a big you know uh, I can say a big uh, thing or experiment which cleared about the pressure which is present or pressure which is there which is exerted by atmospheric pressure so high pressure children just imagine 8 horses you know uh, you can be pulled even by one horse just forget about the 16 horses so uh, this was the experiment which was done by Otto Vaughan he was a German scientist this experiment was conducted in 17th century and what he did he took two hemisphere each hemisphere was of 51 centimeter okay and then what he did he tried to he just kept the two hemispheres together and he invented one vacuum pump from this vacuum pump he removed all the air which was present between the two balls or between the two hemispheres and then he tried to separate this but he was not able to separate this and then what he did he attached eight horses on both the sides and then he tried to it was no it was uh, uh, tried uh, this was uh, done actually but then still this thing was not removed so again just imagine the atmospheric pressure the power the strength okay now we will talk about the next experiment okay now we will just write about this what he did it was taken as a 51 centimeter and after removing the 8 hours also now you can write this there is no need to write okay now uh, we will talk about the next experiment now suppose if we take one you know like a container or even you can take one bottle also okay or one cane okay which is made up of metal okay metal cane this is now what you have to do is you know you just fill this water uh, metal can with the help of water okay if you fill water into this and then it is boiled okay we have taken one metal can and this metal can is then filled with water and then water is allowed to boil now when water is boiled what will happen the air the water will start evaporating ok it the vapors will go out along with the vapors ok vapor along with the vapors the air which was present here ok the air which was present here will also move out is not it will also move out hmm? and then this can has to be closed ok first of all it has to be kept open only see take one metal can ok one metal can is taken it is filled with water in the beginning it is not closed with the cap it is open now this water is it is it is heated ok water will start boiling and when water will start boiling what will happen the water will what will form the vapor water vapor will come out ok along with the water vapor whatever air is present here will also go up is not it so whatever air was there in the container that started moving out that means uh, within few seconds the air the, which was there in the metal can is removed now there is no air now it is closed ok it is closed and then it is kept for some time as it is even if it is kept in the fridge what will happen or just keep it like this only let us allow it to be cool then what will happen children see this will be crushed ok it will be crushed it will be like damaged it will become like this something ok why it will become like this why it will be crushed because 
the atmospheric pressure is there on the outer surface isn't it the atmospheric pressure is there on the outer surface but there is nothing inside that is the reason i explained you this experiment you know or is you will never get this experiment to write in the exam but when you understand this experiment then the things become very very clear okay that when air is inside if air would be there inside this then it would have got separated very easily but when air was not inside and atmospheric pressure will keep acting on the outer side and so this didn't get separated now once if this experiment is clear to you then everything will be quite clear because now what is what is happening children when water was boiled okay water vapor started coming out along with the water vapor whatever air was present there that air also came out okay now in this container what was there only boiled water was there and that's it no air was there okay now what will happen when it will cool down this uh, what atmospheric pressure is there atmospheric pressure is there which is acting from the outer side but there is no air which is which can balance this force okay there is no air which can balance this atmospheric pressure and then what happens okay so atmospheric pressure is working from all directions but inside the metal can there is no air which can balance this atmospheric pressure and so what will happen it will become crack it will be crushed it won't be crushed totally but it will be uh, deformed from all the sides okay it will be deformed from all the sides and it won't be in the shape which it was there earlier okay so how to write now this thing how we have to, how can we explain it so i'll just write this just i'll have to clean this one or why to write if we'll take okay a metal can is filled with water it should be open okay it should be open okay a metal can is filled with water and allowed to be heated okay and allowed to be heated then what will happen water evaporates evaporates water get evaporated okay i am not saying the whole water will go up okay the water will start getting evaporated okay vapor will go out of the can or container along with that along with that even air present in it will be will be passed out okay then this is the first point then second point what will be there allow it to be allow it to cool okay allow it to cool okay then what will be the third point children the container or the can will be deformed okay the can will be deformed as there is no air inside the can which can maintain the 
the atmospheric pressure okay so you have to elaborate more you can elaborate the answer more uh, you know this as there was no space so i just gisted out over here so they uh, just what is there a metal can is filled with water which is open okay it's very important to keep this open okay now and allowed to be heated water get evaporated now not completely vapor will go out of the can along with that even air present in it will be passed out now what will be the second point allow it to cool it will be cooling now okay again the can will be the can will be deformed as there is no air inside the can which now see do not get confused in this can and this can okay one is the container and the other one is the can the grammar can okay or if you want to avoid this you can even write the container so which can what i have written over here the can will be deformed as there is no air inside the can which can maintain m a n t a i n m a i n i have written wrong over here m a i n t a i n okay there is no place to write now which can maintain the atmospheric pressure okay so this is again an experiment which shows the atmospheric pressure works and it is acting in all the directions why it is acting in all the directions because air is present everywhere and the air is made up of molecules which is moving continuously randomly okay so the gases they exert pressure and uh, so much of pressure so much of air is there and along like on the surface of the air or around the surface of the earth the air is denser but when we go higher the this atmospheric pressure decreases because air decreases because air become thinner okay and so then uh, like one uh, faces many kinds of problem okay now sometimes the uh, when one flies in the air okay in the plane the, the you know sometimes some people complain about the ear uh, ear ache or they have ear pain why this is also children again change in pressure okay due to change in pressure again what is happening when it is uh, down the pressure is quite high but still you know nowadays like uh, uh, the pressure is maintained in the planes so it's not that uh, you know it's not a problematic thing but still sometimes it may happen just due to the change in pressure it can even uh, give rise to the pains in the ear okay so now we'll talk about the next example about the atmospheric pressure